Can you hear okay? Can you hear me? Can you see me? Let me know, please, if you can hear and see me. Okay. Let me know in the chat. Aoni is also here, by the way, with me. She's eating some yogurt. All good. Glad you Should can I hear. Close the door if you want? So he doesn't think, wake up? I think it'll be okay. You think? We're not going to get too loud. Okay. Unless something crazy happens. But anyways, Aoni's here. Do you want to just drop your face in? <laughs> she says, what's up? She's wearing her Porg shirt today. She says she's very happy that she can fit into her Porg shirt. <clears throat> so that's good. A little low. Let me move this closer to me. How's that? Is that better? Is that a little bit better volume-wise? So, uh, like I said, this is going to be a little bit of a different uh, live stream because it's not like one of our just kicking it around with you sort of thing live streams. This is uh, mainly for those who are participating in the break, the card break that we're going to do, which is for this Panini Contenders, still sealed as you can see. So you're everyone else, you're free to stay and hang out and we'll talk for the first like half hour here because the break is gonna start uh, right about eight o'clock. I see, see that we have some people who are have bought into the break who are here. I know Moose Tube bought a couple spots and uh, Robert Ruth was someone else. Um, who else here? I saw where they go, CDX says, stumbled upon this channel during the beginning of lockdown. It's definitely coming handy to get away from the news and reality. Well, I'm glad. Bomberman John's here. He also bought into the break. Hayden David uh, bought into the break. And Resurgo627. Resurgo627, are you... I'm thinking that you are maybe... Um, let me look here. Joshua, is that you? Are you Joshua Matheson? You have to let me know if that's who you are. So a couple other people who have uh, joined into the break. There are still a couple spots left. Rav1 also is uh, going to be in the break here. So there are still a couple spots left. I think right as of right now, we have five spots left. So if anybody is still interested in getting a spot for the break, then there are just a couple spots left available. Um, so basically, let me explain to you how this is going to work. If for those of you who might just be curious what a break is and I guess how, how it all is supposed to go down. So basically we have a box of Panini Contenders. This is a hobby box. This you can't buy in stores. You have to go to like your local um, trading, sports trading store or buy it online. I bought these online. So you can't keep these in store. And so basically this box here what's going to happen is when the break starts we're going to open well before we open it we're going to uh randomize we're going to go to random.org we're going to randomize names we're going to randomize teams and one spot gets you two teams so you're going to get two random nfl teams and every time we pull one of those cards out of this box you will get even you get a box yeah, it's hot in here. I got these lights in here. Every time we pull a card from your team, uh, you know, we'll, we'll send you that card. So the interesting thing about this is that there's a lot of autograph cards in here. There's a lot of rare um, cards. So there's a chance of getting a, a really valuable card, potentially. We don't know. It's all part of the, the chance and the chase. So that's kind of the fun of it. But it's cheaper to kind of just buy a break and take your chance doing it that way. Whew. Too. It's so hot in here. Right there. No. <laughs> you can wrap around your neck. That's what's great about the burp claws. Wait, was this used? No. Oh, nice. It's new. So anyway, um, it's very hot in here because I had the door closed earlier because I didn't want the cat coming in here and knocking down the setup. And I also, I got, we got these big giant lights that I took from church. I was gonna use them for a different project I had to do for school but I uh, got these big giant lights and let me tell you they are bright as you can probably tell it's a little bit brighter in here and it's hot it is hot Whew. so for those of you who are asking if you're interested in the break uh, Paco and I saw somebody else it was Kathleen, Kathleen uh, Collins 
if you are interested in uh, buying a spot in the break, let me go ahead and just drop the uh, the PayPal information in here for you. So basically, you can just go to paypal.me slash the arcade couple. And uh, if you don't have PayPal, then you can, if you have Ven Venmo, which I just learned about, actually, because I didn't have a Venmo, but someone wanted to pay through Venmo, you can uh, add me on Venmo and you can pay there. So, there you go. Yes, it is hot here. Well, what was the temperature outside? Mm -mm. I think it's only in the high 70s. It's just hot in this room, particularly right now. So, ooh, hot, hot, hot. So the break's going to start in 20 minutes, but I wanted to kind of get here, you know, early so we could talk to you guys and uh, just uh, catch up with you a little bit here and also give some of you a chance to buy in if you wanted to still. Does that mean I get to open some boxes? Buy in. You're, you want to open a pack? You want like to open some packs? Just open it and then get to show people. Like, am I the hands? Are you the hands? I wasn't going to make you the hands, but I don't see why you wouldn't be allowed to open a pack. You just have to do it in front of the camera well, here. I have nice hands, don't I? Are your hands clean? Have you washed them? Honey. Just making sure. We don't want anything on these people's cards. <laughs> it's $15 to join the break. Sorry. $15. If you're interested in joining, $15 to join the break. Mm -hmm. We had thunderstorms last night you woke up because of the thunderstorm did i actually wake up because of it yeah you <laughs> you woke up you were like what was that and i was like sweetheart it's just thunder and you were like i'm so scared and then you were like hey hey and then you fell back asleep <laughs> that's funny and then i went and i fed him that's funny oh boston college eagle deb donated two dollars through the super chat thank you so much Thank you so much, Boston College Eagle Dead. Ooh, 100 degrees. She says, just wanted to support you. Zen hugs to all. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Yeah, Orson, he's doing great. He is just uh, hanging out in the... You want to tell him what he did the other day? In the bedroom where it's cool and air conditioned. He's sleeping. Oh, he he said dada for the first... No, oh, he didn't. What, did, what did he do? <laughs> he lifted his head. Yeah, he, he held it all by himself. He lifted his head and he held it all by himself. And then he rolled over twice. And then he ro oh, that's actually that was pretty. I was pretty impressed with that. The lifting of the head, whatever. But he rolled over from his, his front, front to, to his, his back, back all by himself. Times. Two times in a row, he it's did like it. He figured it out, and then he was like, "Let me do it again." Yeah, he like kicked his leg, and he was like, "Those are birds outside." Jeez, oh, okay. Yeah, it was pretty. It was pretty impressive. We were we were pretty impressed. Man, 100 degrees is hot. Michael Wolf being parents is pretty grand. It's been pretty fun so far. It's been tiring. Probably more tiring for Annie than it has back for me. But it's been a good time. I don't know. He's getting pretty heavy. You, you get tired pretty quickly now. He's a big boy. He's tough to carry around. I bet you he's, I bet you he's, he's like 13 12. pounds. I'm thinking 13 pounds. 12 pounds. He's a big baby. He's a big baby. Moose says, if you don't pull what you want, we have the boxes for sale on Mercari. Yes, but it's much cheaper to just buy into a break and take your chances than it is to buy a box. So there will I'll have to subtract some of the boxes though because we're we are opening up one of the boxes that I have for sale in Mercari. But these these boxes by themselves right now you can buy these for like two hundred bucks, one hundred eighty bucks or something. So they're kind of expensive. But or you can spend fifteen bucks and like I said, take your chances that maybe you'll get a hit on something pretty good. He's getting ready for roller coasters. Rav1 says, any word in your arcades opening soon uh, here at DMV Affiliates? Either open or opening very soon. So, just go to Pennsylvania. <laughs> so we thought that the arcades were going to open um, Friday. on Friday. Yes, two days ago. Because that phase four. So Central New York started in phase four. Unfortunately... <laughs> I know it makes you're like a preacher. Yeah. I mean, I sweat when I preach. So, <laughs> unfortunately, Governor Cuomo 
did not allow arcades and, and yeah standalone arcades and the mall to open even though retail was supposed to be in the initial like startup of phase four so we have no idea and phase four was supposed to be our last phase so we have no idea not a clue uh, apparently he's worried he's that high. air conditioning can spread the coronavirus oh, then we're screwed. and so he's not allowing the mall to open which is where dave and busters is which is where apex entertainment is he's not allowing them to open until he gets a study done on that so we will have to or would have to go to pennsylvania, pennsylvania to do videos because pennsylvania arcades are open not not all the ones in the mall but like standalone arcades so i think we should go to uh clark we should take a day drive to clark summit and play at uh La Haye Family Fun Center because they're open. So, don't know. So, in the meantime, this is what you guys get unboxing cards. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I know. I heard Texas, Artistic Cat, hello. I heard Texas was closing stuff again and California was closing stuff again. So, I don't know. We'll see. Apparently, New York is one of the only states that hasn't reverted back. But I don't think Governor Cuomo remembers how many people died initially when we started this whole process. So the same. I also don't think that anybody in Onondaga County is really giving him the correct number. <laughs> I don't know. Who knows? Where I live, it's gotten worse. I haven't left. Hmm. Yeah. We'll see what happens. I mean, I think just when, as the weather gets a little bit warmer, it will be a little bit, you know, things will die down. But the issue will be when things open up in, uh, well, when or fall and winter time, when the weather cools down and things are still open, they're thinking that's when the second wave's going to hit. So I'm worried that we'd have to revert back there, but I don't know. I don't know. Staying home for Christmas might be nice. Well, we always stay our, I mean, we're home usually for Christmas. No, like stay home stay home nobody can come nobody oh well we've tried that before last minute <laughs> we've tried that before kathleen uh crap quarry traffic slowed no oh it slowed a little bit let me see kathleen if i can just copy and paste the link for you wait is great escape the one that's in new york yeah it's one up by the, oh, the adirondack old terrible. forge well, small, very small. I got it myself at the beginning of the month, luckily. Keeps doing that. Months. Huh. Give that link a try. See if that works for you. Ryan Oliver just said, just sent mine. This is exciting. Oh, okay. I need to check this really quick so I can add some more spots because we don't have many spots left, so we'll see how it goes. Look at that, Ryan. Okay. Oh my. Wow, you guys are good. What are all these? Those are the ones I pulled from the other box. You know who that is? That's Carson Wentz from the Eagles. Wait, why is he on a rookie? It's a college card. They're they're college draft picks. Oh, so when they were in college. Wow, you guys did well. We have two spots. We only have two spots left. So I got to keep an eye on this because we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to make sure no one else pays. But great, great work, everybody. Yeah. So teams are gonna be chosen randomly, and uh, I'll show you here in a couple minutes how we're gonna do that. Artistic cat, thanks for coming to hang out with us. Chilling is good, especially when you're hot. Paco, 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 Paco. All right. So here, here are the updated uh, people that I have. Ryan Oliver, Sarah Wood, and Robert Lyman. So I don't know who who of those, you know, who that is out of you guys, but those are who I have, the most recent ones. Let me do a refresh here. Yeah, so I have Robert Lyman, Sarah Wood, and Ryan Oliver. Those are the, my most recent ones for PayPal anyway. Yeah, I was thinking about that. Maybe we should get some magic packs and open them up. Well, because we have, well, once the mall opens, we can go to that one place because they keep 
the magic cards. They sell magic packs really? at um, Walmart. Oh. Not really. The thing is, you have you have to do so much research on, like... We don't what... need to do research. We could just ask Trey. Well, that's true. We <laughs> a lot of research on, like, what ones are the... Uh, the best packs to buy or like the, the ones where you can get the the best whatever so all right robert lyman is paco got you paco i'm gonna put that next to your name on here very good yeah so we only got uh two two spots left sorry if i i'm saying your names and you don't want your like names being said, but I'm just trying to figure out who you all are because I want to make sure that you all get in. My brother keeps trying to send me. Uh... <laughs> My brother keeps trying to send me PayPal requests where he wants me to pay him exorbitant amounts, exuberant amount amounts of money. Maybe he should get a better job. <clears throat> He's got a great job. He makes more money than I do. No, I know. I'm just saying, if he wants exuberant amount of money, maybe he should get a better job. Well, maybe he will. Bomberman John, yeah, Hayden David's here. Bomberman John, if you want another spot, just go to the Venmo again, because I think you were the one who was on Venmo, so go ahead and do that. Um, Hayden David raised his hand. Does that mean he wants one? Or? No, he's here. He already has one. I think oh. he's, he's here. So Bomberman John, if you do want one, that means we only have one, one spot left. Ooh, it's a fight for the last spot. So, and if for some reason somebody um, pays more, oh, I think that's it, folks. I think. Let me see. Yep. We're all done. That's it. No, well, we still got ten minutes. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. No more spots available, so please do not send any money. <laughs> I'll have to, I'll send it back. So from here on out, uh, I'll send it back. Uh, well, again, assuming that Bomberman job, yeah, he did. Okay. So, yes, no more, no more spots available. So wonderful job. Wow, we filled up the break. I'm so proud of all of you. You really did it. You really did it here. All right. Yeah. Seen Sarah Anglin on Instagram recently. Sarah Anglin, my wife says, be on Instagram. Although, then again, I don't really check the arcade couple page as much as I used to. Ted says, don't be rude, Annie. Don't worry, I told her that you make more money than I do. I'm not being rude. I'm just saying, if he wants more money, he should get a better job. Maybe you could just get a ton of people's PayPal's account and just send them like those threat messages, like pay up, you owe me, and just see how much money you you will get. Guys, I'm really excited. We just did our first, this is our first break, and you guys filled it up. 16 spots. You did it. Thank you so much, everyone. It's fun. It's exciting. I mean, it's fun, but I just didn't think people would actually do it. You never know. I mean, it's probably good that we have, you know, like our little following here, because that helps with it. I don't think I could just do this from scratch if we didn't have some sort of following, but it's popular. People like it. Moose Tube said earlier, he says, everyone's in for a huge treat. Card breaks can be super exciting. They certainly can. And, uh, I mean, I'm pretty pumped about this. I'll show you guys the little setup that I have going on here with uh, some of the different things that we're going to do here. So, for instance, uh, da, 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 da. here will be, this is going to be the break. This is gonna be the, the break setup, so you'll see me up here, and then we'll have the cards uh, down here, the packs and everything, as we open up the packs. So we will keep that going. I'm gonna add the rest of your names over there, uh, for those of you who are in the break. Some of you have bought multiple spots, like uh, Moosetube bought multiple spots, and uh, a couple others of you have bought multiple spots. So. Your name's only going to go on here once, but you'll see when we get to randomizing teams, your name is actually listed two times what your uh, thing is. Kathleen has a question. Kathleen. 
do I still have one? Can't get PayPal to work. Kathleen, uh, if you if the PayPal didn't work, then you don't have a spot, unfortunately, because uh, the spot's filled up. So I apologize for that. But we still have three other boxes, so we'll probably we'll definitely be doing this again in the future. Um, and I didn't receive any payment from you. And if for some reason it does go through and I do receive payment, I will send you the payment back. Rav1, I think you spelled my last name wrong. I think I probably did spell your last name wrong. You are going to be Chris, right? How do you, how do you, how do you spell the last name for your name? I'll just put Rav1, okay. I'll change it here. I believe so. Got it. All right. Um, I accepted her friend request. So. Yeah, she's the one. Who, she okay. bought a spot in the break. Got it. Cool. All right. Rav one, Chris. Wait, you want money for watching? You have fun? No, not ex not exactly, Daniel. <laughs> That's not exactly how it works. That question. Not exactly how it works. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and add the other names here to our list. And uh, in five minutes, about, we will get ourselves started. This will be exciting. So we have Paco, and we have Sarah. Having yeah. fun isn't, isn't hard if you've, you've got a library card. I was going to say a. Oh, that also works. Yeah, see? And we already have... And yep, you two are already in. So, wonderful. Hi, Tony. Tony's here? Yep. Yay, Tony. Hi, Tony. Oh, I didn't know that. What? Sarah Anglin is Sarah Wood equals me. Aha! Yes, that is her. Bought it. That is her. Okay, right back. I'm gonna just do that. All right, so there's an updated list of all of our participants. Again, some of you have multiple spots in the break. Um, the, those who have multiple spots are the following. Moose Tube, he has three spots in the break. Uh, Jeremy White has two spots in the break. Um, PWK has one spot in the break. Ted Johnson has one spot in the break. Robert Ruth has one spot in the break. Hayden David has one spot in the break. <laughs> Chris Chance has one spot in the break, which by Chris I mean Rav1. I spelled his last name wrong, so I apologize. It's not that. Bomberman John has two spots in the break. Joshua Matt Matheson has two spots in the break. And uh, Paco has two spots in the break. And Sarah Wood has two spots in the break. Ryan Oliver has, or not, I'm sorry, I keep saying two spots. I apologize. Paco has one spot in the break. Sarah Wood has one spot in the break. Ryan Oliver has one spot in the break. And uh, I believe that will sum up all of our Your brother's like, people. maybe I would have joined if I didn't have some unexpected, and then he's like, costs lately. Oh. Oh, sorry, Tony. <laughs> maybe it next time. Like, I can hear him saying it. Like, like really depressed. Yeah, but like separated yeah. sentences. <laughs> sorry, Tony. Well, thanks for coming to watch the fun. This should be a, a good time. And yes, Moose Tube, I might be teasing you with this Gary Sanchez card. Who's he? Right here. He's a player for the New York Yankees. He's a catcher, actually. So why are you teasing? I just have it. This is actually a number card, Moose Tube. I don't know if I probably can't see it there. But it's numbered out of uh, 129. And I got that card because I pulled a home run challenge card from just like a regular pack of baseball cards. And you had to guess the game that your player would hit a home run. And so I guessed correctly. And if you guess correctly, they send you one of these home run challenge winner cards. So it's kind of a neat card. Like, I don't like Gary Sanchez or the Yankees, but it's a neat card. Yeah, it's a redemption sort of thing. I only send me some Kutztown magic for the break. Um. <laughs> Spirit finger. <laughs> Kutzwood! There you go. All right. Although I don't feel like I actually went to Kutztown. I just went to the one building over and over and over and over again. I'm going to make me a little bit 
smaller up here, just so you guys can phase have a four. easier on your card. Illinois is in phase four, too. I feel like it's silly that Pennsylvania is the only one that's like, we're going green. Because <laughs> there's no other colors after that. Okie doke. All right, so we're going to get started here in a second. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to explain to you how um, the randomizing for the teams is going to work. So as you can see here, we have all of the, the teams. Let me just move some things around here. We have all of the 32 teams right here. And so basically what is going to happen is uh, the first thing that we're gonna do is I'm gonna put all of your names into this list and we're going to randomize your list based on what this dice roll comes off of right here. And uh, then I'll put your, um, your names onto this Excel spreadsheet in the order that they uh, show up after they're done being randomized. And then what we'll do is we'll randomize the teams from the randomizer website and we'll match up your spot with the team. And those will be the teams that you get. So remember, if you bought one spot, you're gonna get two teams. If you bought two spots, you're gonna get four teams. If you bought three spots, you're gonna get uh, six teams. So that's how this is gonna work. But before we do that, I'm gonna let you all talk to Aoni for a little bit because I'm gonna take a quick break to just run downstairs go to, the bathroom. to the bathroom and maybe put some cool water on my face so without further ado I'll let you talk to Aoni and when I come back we will begin the break should I tell knock knock jokes I wish you'd close the door <laughs> all right are you okay? I am very much okay. I'm just tired. Uh, I woke up at... Well, most people are probably like, Oh, I wake up at 6. But I woke up at 6 and fought a child to feed him, so... That's always fun at 6 in the morning. Uh, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling... Tired. <laughs> No, I'm feeling I'm I'm feeling pretty good. For I have my six week appointment tomorrow early and uh, I should get the okay to go work out and everything, but we'll see. We'll see. Um hello Steven. Uh we, we don't have air conditioning in our house. Um we only have air conditioning in the bedroom, which is one of those um window air conditionings and air conditioners, oh gosh. Uh, I'm homeschooled. Um, <laughs> and uh, we're getting another one on Friday for the baby's room. Because we're going to try and transition him into his nursery. Because a new study has come out saying that we should really put him in his own bedroom um, sooner than the six months. I hate how bright this is. I'm just going to sit back here, y'all. Man, I look like a freaking... I don't know. Anyway, uh, let's see. Grab a nice bag. Who is the fattest knight in King Arthur's round table and why? Don't know. I, I Lancelot? Because he... Nope, that doesn't work. Anyway. Uh, yeah, because of the baby waking so early. No, uh, he sleeps... Usually he's a, like, we're starting to get on a schedule, so he usually sleeps from, like, whenever he goes down to nine, well, um, if we get him down at, like, let's say we get him down at eight, he sleeps till, like, 1230, which, you know, all the lactation specialists are going to be like, ah, you know, you should really do it within two to three hours, but he's such a big boy already, and he just, he would spit up anything that I give him more than that, so we're letting him do that. So I get a good four hours in between everything, or three hours, so I'm getting enough sleep. Plus I get naps. Uh, hold on, there's a, is the little man sleeping through the night yet? Nope, he won't do that until he is about eight weeks, and he's only 
five weeks right now. And yelled at... <laughs> I woke up at 4 a.m. and yelled and grabbed Becca's shoulder because I had a dream she was falling. And then she woke up screaming. <laughs> I can see that happening. Circumference. He ate a lot of pie. Oh, that's a good one. Very All good. right. Everybody. Tony, are there any arcades that are real like Winner Winner online? Yeah. Winner Winner is good. Tareba is good. So, okay. We're going to go ahead and get things started here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the random. You can see this website. And so the first thing that we need to do is we need to grab your names from this Expel spreadsheet. So if you want to, let's just go through. I'm going to say your names. We're just going to kind of like double check this here to make sure that um, everyone's names are good on the spreadsheet. Better than Ben's dad jokes. So give me a second. I love Ben's dad jokes, especially ben, if you're ben's tired. Ben's bad, 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 bad jokes. All right, so here's the Excel spreadsheet. So here are, these are the number of teams that you are going to get uh, for those of you uh, based on how many spots that you bought in the break. So Moosetube is gonna get six teams because he bought three spots. Ted's gonna get two teams because he bought um, one spot. PWK is gonna get two teams because he bought one spot. Jeremy White is actually gonna get four teams. You got two here and then two here because you bought two spots. Robert Ruth, you are going to get, um, there's Jeremy, there's the other two. Robert Ruth, you're gonna get two teams because you bought one spot. Hayden David, you're gonna get two teams because you bought one spot. Uh, Chris, otherwise known as, I'm actually gonna put this next to here so I know. Rav1, right? That's what we're calling you these days. There we go. You are going to get two teams because you purchased one spot. Shats. It's just shats, not shants. <laughs> what? Are you making fun of them? Oh, you're so bad. I apologize, Chris. My wife's making fun of you. Uh, Bomberman John. You what have... are you talking about? I don't know. I thought you were laughing. I'm laughing at his, his dad jokes. Oh, I thought you were laughing. It's, what's the giraffe's favorite fruit? A nectarine. Shots. It's pronounced shots. I was shots. laughing at his dad jokes for crying out loud. I just thought you were laughing because I made a faux pas. Anyways, Bomberman John, you are going to get four teams because you bought two spots. And Joshua Matheson, you're going to get two teams because you bought one spot. Robert Lyman, otherwise known as Paco, you are going to get two teams because you bought one spot. Sarah Wood, same for you, two teams because you bought one spot. And finally, Ryan Oliver, two teams because you bought one spot. That's 32 teams, which are there are 32 teams in the NFL, and each one there. So we're good as far as that goes. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste all of your names into our randomizer over here. So you can see, here's all your names in that order. Oh, actually, I don't think you can see that yet. Here we go, let me transition. Here's all your names now. <clears throat> over here in the order that they were on this. And we are going to go over to this um, dice roller. I still forgot my C. You're just really messing up with his name, aren't what you? What did he say? S C H A T Z. Oh, let me go back and fix it. I don't want to make I don't want to make that mistake. S -C, S C. The next one down. You want to do that again? Now I've done it. There we go. Now I have you correct. I don't know what's wrong with me. Maybe it's these lights and the fact that it's hot. Maybe it's the heat of these lights, Sony says. So, you heard me. here is the list. And so we're going to go over to this uh, dice. We're going to roll this dice one time. And that's going to be how many times, whatever the dice says, that's going to be how many times we randomize your names. So let's go ahead and roll the dice. It's going to check here really quick. Blah, 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 blah. 
steal all my information, seven. So we're gonna randomize the list of names seven times and that will be the, the order that we match you up with teams. So here we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, one more time, seven. So here you go, that's seven times randomized and this is gonna be the order of your, that we're gonna put you into the Excel. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy and paste this. Command C. And we're gonna go back over to our Excel spreadsheet. And we'll paste you all in here. Very good, so you see all of your names there. 32 spots still filled. Now what we are going to do is we're gonna go back over to our randomizer website. And we are going to, I have all the teams here. We're gonna randomize the teams and we'll copy and paste and we'll match you up with where you are. So we're gonna roll the dice, give it a roll. Looks like it's gonna be five. So we're gonna randomize this list of teams five times. Here we go. It's one, two, three, four, one more time, five. So there you go. Here's all the randomized teams and we're going to copy and paste that into our Excel spreadsheet. So let me bring you back over to Excel and we're just gonna do that right here, copy paste, and there you have it. So there are your teams that you are have been given for this break. Let me make this a little bit smaller so you can see all of your all of your uh, teams here there you go so let's see here Bomberman John you have New England Patriots PWK has Kansas City Chiefs Sarah Wood you have Arizona Cardinals Hayden David you have the Miami Dolphins Bomberman John you have the Tennessee Titans Moose Tube you have Atlanta Falcons, Ryan mm -hmm. Oliver, Cleveland Browns, Robert Ruth, Indianapolis Colts, and Los Angeles Chargers. Ted, you have the Houston Texans. Bomberman John, you have the Denver Broncos. Joshua Matheson, you have the Washington Redskins. Ryan Oliver, you have Los Angeles Rams. Bomberman John, you have New York Jets. Chris, spelled correctly, Rav1, Philadelphia Eagles. Moose Tube, you got the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, PWK, Chicago Bears. Moose Tube, New York Giants. Paco, Buffalo Bills. Sarah Wood coming through with the, the Cincinnati Bengals, the possibility to get a uh, Joe Burrow card. Moose Tube, uh, New Orleans Saints. Moose Tube, Seattle Seahawks. Paco, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Moose Tube, Green Bay Packers. Oh, nice. Uh, Joshua Matheson, Pittsburgh Steelers. Jeremy White, Dallas Cowboys. Jeremy White, Detroit Lions. Hayden David, 49ers. Rav1, Jacksonville Jaguars. Jeremy White. Oakland Raiders, Ted, you also had the Minnesota Vikings, and Jeremy White, you have the Carolina Panthers. So that are, is all of our teams. Ooh, Chris got Philadelphia Eagles? Yes. Yay. Chris got the Eagles. Go Eagles. So what's going to happen? We're going to open the box. We're going to start pulling cards, and then any card that we pull from a player who is on your team you're going to be sent that card. And so I'll make sure that we line it up uh, correctly. So we are going to go ahead and switch over to our little setup here. Now, just so you are aware, oops, just so you're aware, um, one of the things that we are going to do uh, is that if the player that we pull is a retired player, then we are going to give that card to whoever 
that player was on the longest because there are some cards in here that are from players who have retired. So whatever team, excuse me, that player was on the longest, you will receive the card uh, for that player. And other than that, it's going to be the most recent players. So for instance, whoever has the Buccaneers, if we pulled a Tom Brady, you would get that card because he plays for that team. So if they're, they're not retired, it's just whatever team that they're on. And if it's one of the draft picks, it's whatever team they got drafted by. So, because obviously they're still on that team. So that's how we're going to go ahead and uh, do that. So here's the box. As you can see, it is still sealed in all of its glory there. And uh, we're going to go ahead and crack this box open. Aoni, do you want to take the packaging off this box? No, you take the packaging off. Are you sure? Why not? Why would I want to take the packaging You said something about opening up the box. Oh, yeah, I guess I do want to. Okay, but you have to do it in front of the camera. Oh, well, I can do that. Plus, I have the nails to right. do it. Go ahead. It has to be done in front of the camera. Oh, Careful. Well, watch your foot. Aoni's going to give it an open. Be very careful. Why? Because it's a very expensive box. These people have paid their hard-earned money for this. Well, it's the cards that they're really wanting, right? But they are held within the box. Okay, the box is probably not the part that's the most important, though. You didn't. You don't have like scissors or something. You didn't decide to get Anita, scissors. You want me to open this box? No. You got this. You want me to get scissors? No. You Why can't not? just rip that open. I can, but not with. You said something about your glorious nails? Yeah, well. Tony says Cam Newton just got signed by the Patriots 14 minutes ago. Is that true? Is oh, that the on. truth? Here we go. Got it. Well, I guess whoever gets the Patriots is going to get any Cam Newton cards we pull out of here. All right. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Wait. That's not really opening the box, though. I mean, that's opening the box. But you get to open open the box. Oh, do you want to open open the I box? I open open the box. All right. I'm sitting here for no good reason. I could be sleeping right now. Okay. It's true. One year deal. I guess so. There you go. You've opened mm -hmm. the box. Panini c Contenders. Look at that. Looks nice. All right. Very good. Okay. You've opened the box. I got to get back to my spot now. <laughs> That's the only part I get to do? Yes, for now, anyway. Oh, you don't trust me? No, it's not that I don't trust you, but... Same people have paid their hard-earned money for this. All right, so we have... There's six packs in uh, one of these boxes. And from the sounds of it, you have 18 cards in a pack. And there should be one autographed card per pack. So that's kind of how this is going to work. So I'm going to go ahead and take the packs out of the box and stack them up. No funny business or anything like that. Keep it all right here for you so you can see. So we have six packs, right? And an empty Panini College box. Best of luck to everybody on the upcoming break. Here are some of the pulls I did from my personal break this from a Walmart pack and uh, we'll go ahead here and start with pack number one good luck everybody let's pull some really fancy expensive Joe Burrow autographed crack dice cards I don't know what the uh, the quote-unquote trick is so to speak for the autograph cards so if I can figure it out in this pack then I'll move some cards around all right, here we go. First card is going to be this Preston Williams. And he played, looks like, for Colorado Rams. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know who a lot of the players for the college teams are. So if he got drafted, I would have to go ahead and look that up for you. I'll make sure I double check and look everything else up. But uh, it looks like Preston Williams currently plays for the Miami Dolphins. So congratulations. Miami Dolphins, there's your first card. Next up, we have Gardner Minshew the second, and uh, he plays for the Jacksonville Jaguars, I do believe. So Jaguars, Gardner Minshew. We have Tony Pollard. Tony Pollard plays for, I don't know who. 
Tony Pollard currently plays for Dallas Cowboys. So oh, very nice. Tony Pollard card there. Next up, we have Julio Jones. Julio Jones plays for the Atlanta Falcons. So if you got the Falcons, there you go. We have Chris Carson. Chris Carson. Chris Carson. I'll have to check this one as well. Not sure who he is playing for. Chris Carson plays for the, oh, that's who it is, Seattle Seahawks. So very nice. Good job, Moose. I think that was Moose Tube with the Seattle Seahawks there. I think our next card, nope, I thought it was. I thought the next card was actually the autograph card. We have a McCole Hardman Jr. McCole Hardman Jr. And he's a wide receiver who plays currently for the Kansas City Chiefs. So congratulations, Chiefs. Moose to man. Two in a row. Good job. All right, here is our first autographed card. Let me set those down. That's a Rodney Smith autograph card. Very nice card there. Minnesota. Not Vikings, but from the Minnesota Golden Gophers. Tracy Tran says Seahawks for Rodney Smith. I'm going to take your word for it, but I'm also going to check it up. Rodney Smith. He currently plays for Seahawks. Yes, there you go. Nice job, Moose. So I'm going to go ahead and any autograph card or any sort of like rare card, we're going to go ahead and put that into a sleeve protector. That one's ripped. So we'll make sure we take care of these cards for you. So there's a nice Rodney Smith card right there. First autograph. Well done. All right. Yeah, it's working out pretty well for you so far, Moose. We have a KJ Hamler from Penn State University. This first pack, I'm going to just kind of look all these guys up. I probably, I'm not going to look them all up for everyone after this because that's going to take a while. But he currently plays for the Denver Broncos. So Broncos, well done. There's the Broncos. Tyler Johnson, next one there. Let's see who Tyler plays for. Tyler Johnson plays for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Congratulations to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Very nice. Okay, we have, oh, and there's a nice card here. We have a Tua Tagvoli Labile and Jerry Judy. So uh, these cards, these are, since these would, would be two, um, what we'll do is we'll just do whoever is on the, whoever the player is on the left-hand side. So this is going to go to the Miami Dolphins because uh, there's two on here. So whoever the first player is, left-hand side, that's who we're going we're gonna to give that to. So if you have the Miami Dolphins, you got a nice little Tua Connections card there. Congratulations. We have J.K. Dobbins from The Ohio State University. He plays for the Browns, I think, right? Doesn't J.K. Dobbins play for the Browns now? You'll have to, someone will have to correct me there, but you got J.K. Dobbins. Maybe that's not, that's not right. I don't know who he plays for. Here's another one of these legacy cards. We have Juju Smith Schuster Ravens. Thank you, Ravens, thanks. Juju Smith Schuster. So that's gonna be Pittsburgh Steelers right there. Uh, with Michael Pittman Jr. as well. But again, these cards, we're going to stick with whoever's on the left. So nice pull there from Juju Smith-Schuster. That's a nice card. All right, we have a Jimmy Garoppolo. So that's going to be for the 49ers. That's a nice Jimmy Garoppolo card right there. Very good. Baker Mayfield. That's going to be a card for the Browns, Cleveland Browns. We got Mark Quise Brown. Ah, I, I, why? I can't remember who he plays for. I should know this. Marquise Brown. Marquise Brown plays for Ravens. That's right. Man, nice pull for the Ravens here. You guys are faster than I am when it comes to who we're pulling. Darius Slayton. Next card. Darius Slayton. Someone help me out with who, what team he plays for. Bigger cheat on his wife, Mayfield, says Tony. Darius Slayton, Giants. So nice pull for New York Giants. 
There's a Peyton Manning card. Look at that, Peyton Manning. So again, since he's a retired player, Peyton Manning's going to go for the team that he played for the longest, and that's going to be the Indianapolis Colts, I do believe. Pretty sure he was there longer than he was on the Denver Broncos. So that's going to be the Colts. Ooh, very nice. Last one, Dwayne Haskins. That's a nice card right there. Dwayne Haskins, he is going to go to the Washington Redskins, I do believe. Dwayne Haskins. Very nice card. All right, so just the one autograph for that pack, but we'll be very careful with the rest of these cards here. Keep that one up. So I'm right up there for now. So there's our one autograph card that we got. We'll keep that separate. All right. Pack number two. We got six packs. We'll work a little bit faster through these ones. You guys seem to know your players pretty well, so you can help me out with some of the ones that I'm not familiar with. But well done, everybody. Was not really able to quite sure figure out what the trick was on that last uh, that last pack as far as the autograph card and where it ended up being. So. Here we go. We'll start off with Christian Kirk. Who's he play for? Who's our dear friend Christian Kirk play for? That's that card there, Christian Kirk. Got a nice Michael Thomas card here. Cardinals for Christian Kirk. Michael Thomas uh, now plays for... He plays for the Saints still, right? New Orleans Saints, Michael Thomas. That's a nice looking card. So we got Cardinals, now we got New Orleans Saints, I believe. Oh, here's a nice card, Derrick Henry. Look at that, Tony would like that card. There is the Tennessee Titans. Nice Derrick Henry card there. Ooh, look at Russell Wilson from the Seattle Seahawks. Moose Tube, he did it again. There's a nice Russell Wilson card right there. Looking good, looking good. Jacoby Myers. Not sure who Jacoby Myers plays for. I'm gonna be honest with you there. You guys can help me out with our dear friend Jacoby. Pats. Very nice for the Pats. Ah, here's a nice card. Look at that. Aaron Rodgers. The Green Bay Packers. Man, Moose, that's you again. You're really doing well here. Aaron Rodgers with the Green Bay Packers. That's a good card. All right, here is our Next auto card here, Antonio Gandy Golden from Liberty University. Wow. Let's see, Antonio Golden, Golden, Gandy Golden, sorry. Uh, he's Redskins, nice. Washington Redskins, good job. That's a nice card. I'm liking the uh, autograph that he's got on there and from Liberty University. Very, very nice. So there you go. Nice Antonio Gandy Golden autographed card. Sweet. Okay, we'll keep that one up with our other autos there. Tony, there are six packs total that we are opening. We got Grant Delpit from Louisiana State University. Anyone know who he plays for? That'd be fantastic. Actually, before I do that, I'm gonna count the cards here so I know what the trick's gonna be. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six cards and the seventh card is going to be the auto and the packs, I believe. So here's a guy who plays for the Browns. Very nice. Isaiah Simmons from Clemson. Not sure who he plays for, but you guys will look it up and figure it out for us, I'm sure. Isaiah Clemson or Isaiah Simpson from Clemson. Here's another couple of Clemson players right here. That's the same guy. Cardinals. Isaiah Simmons. I said Simpson. Simmons. And T. Higgins, well, guess what? If you had the uh, the Cardinals, you just got two cards back-to-back. -back. Very nice. Collegiate Connections and a, uh, sorry, I'll put a little lower there. And this game day ticket. Looking good. Let's flip this bad boy back around. Justin Jefferson from Louisiana State University, draft 2020 class. Where is our friend Justin Jefferson from? Let's see a little love for Justin Jefferson. Nice looking card there. Vikings. There you go, Ted. Justin Jefferson. I think Ted had the Vikings. Uh, here's a nice card. We have Jalen Hurts. 
card here. Jalen Hurts, University of Alabama and University of Oklahoma. Really like these legacy cards, the way that they have them for both uh, both sides here, both teams that they played for. I pulled this Joe Burrow card here uh, just from a pack at Walmart, and I like that it's got the LSU and the uh, Ohio State on there. So very nice. Nice job, Eagles. Looking good. All right, we got a Philip Lindsay. Philip Lindsay card there. Not sure who he's playing for. All right, we have Ezekiel Elliott from Dallas Cowboys. Nice Ezekiel Elliott card. So Philip Lindsay, oh, that's right. Philip Lindsay's Broncos. See, you see him in these jerseys, and it's like, okay, trying to remember the name. But then you say Broncos, I'm like, oh, yeah, that's who that is. Cowboys, Ezekiel Elliott. There you go, Tom Brady. It's going to be Buccaneers, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Michigan Wolverines, that's a nice looking card. Tom Brady, Buccaneers. There's another Juju Smith Schuster card. So that Juju Smith Schuster there is going to be for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Nice card. Carson Wentz. Carson Wentz. He is going to be. Oh, did I say Michigan? Oh, Moose. I failed myself. I said Michigan instead of the team up north. Carson Wentz going to be for the Eagles. Nice Carson Wentz card. And Max. Crosby. I don't know who he is. Max Crosby. He's playing for the, looks like the uh, Raiders. Nice. All right. So that's the end of that pack. Not a lot of numbered cards. I'm kind of surprised about that, honestly. But there's our other auto. So here's our two autos so far Rodney Smith and Antonio Gandy Golden. Very nice. Let's go to pack number three. This will be halfway through. There's pack number three. Everyone's looking good. So what did I say? Six. It's six cards. One, two, three, four, five. It is six cards. Well, I'll, I'll adjust that here. Leonard Fournette. Leonard Fournette. He is still playing for the Jacksonville Jaguars, I do believe. Nice card there. Ooh, Dak Prescott, Mississippi State University Bulldogs. That's going to be a Cowboys card. There's two. Noah Font. Noah Font card there. Not sure who Noah Font is from or where what team he plays for. It might be Fant, not Font, but there's Noah Font, Fant. Broncos. I'm pretty sure when in doubt, it's been Broncos so far. I feel like that's been, been the case. How many cards was that? That was one, two, three. Ty Johnson. Nice Ty Johnson card there. Looking good. Lions. Keenan Allen. Keenan Allen. Is he still playing? He just would be playing for the Chargers, right? Keenan Allen. Yeah, Chargers. That's a nice card. All right, I think this is going to be our auto. No, it's not. This is not going to be the auto. This is a nice card, though, folks. Look at this. This is our first numbered card. Look at that. I'm actually going to go ahead and flip that over so we don't see. Look at that. First numbered card foil. And you can see that's numbered to 99. Right on the bottom there. Probably hard to see there. But that's 62 out of 99. Is that a Redskins card? Nice. Redskins card. Terry McLaurin. That's a nice card. Rainbow foil. Number to 99. There's only 99 of these cards in the world. And guess what? You got them. Good job. Whoever had the Redskins, you'll have to talk to my brother Ted because he's a Redskins fan. So numbered cards, foiled cards like that, we're also going to go ahead and put in a protective sleeve just to keep them extra safe. So looking good. I like it. Nice rainbow foil there. All right, so this bottom card is our... is our... Uh, is our... auto card. So I want to do this so we don't see it. All right, there we go. Ooh, here's another one. Redskins hitting good here. Chase Young looking nice. That's a nice Chase Young card. Very nice. Oh, and check it out. Look at that. Joe Burrow. 
Louisiana State University. Just a base card, but it's still cool to get like a Joe Burrow rookie card like this. Game day ticket, Cincinnati Bengals. That's looking nice. You know what I'm going to do? Some of these, these big rookies, Joe Burrow and whatever, I'm going to go ahead and put that. Oh, man, you got lucky. I'm going to go ahead and put that in a sleeve for you just because it's a nice base card. But check this out. Ready for this one? There's another one. Joe Burrow's on the left. We're doing that. Whoever is on the left, those are the ones that we're going to keep. That's a Collegiate Connections from LSU. Justin Jefferson, Joe Burrow card. Looking good. Nice job. Those are some nice cards. Congratulations. I think that was Sarah Wood who had who had our uh, Bengals. Yeah, I should put Chase Young in a sleeve just because... I actually have some different sleeves. I'm going to switch these ones over too, but... All right, let's get back to the pack here. Bah, 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 bah. Brandon Ayuk. I don't know how to say that last name. Brandon Ayuk. Let me know who he's playing for these days. Ooh, here was almost another Peyton Manning, but again, we're going with the ones on the left. So that's Jason Witten. 49ers for Brandon Ayuk. Jason Witten signed back with the Cowboys. And he would have been with them the longest. I don't know if he retired again or not. So, Cowboys, this card's actually going to you. Nice looking card there. Looking good. Someone said Raiders. Raiders? Who plays for the Raiders? Jason Witten? Played for the Raiders? The Raiders? Oh, man. When did this happen? Jason Witten. I guess so. You guys are right. Never mind. I apologize, Cowboys. Raiders. Jason Witten's going to the Raiders. Nice card. All right. Sorry. My mistake. Paris Campbell. Our dear friend Paris Campbell. Looks like he's playing for the Colts, I believe. Yep. Indianapolis Colts. Good job. Paris Campbell. DJ Moore. DJ Moore is playing for the Panthers, Carolina Panthers. Nice job. TJ Hawkinson. I want to say he plays for the uh, the Steelers, but that might be incorrect. But for some reason, I thought he was playing for the Steelers. TJ Hawkinson. Lions, that's right. Oh, that's right. Good player. Good player. All right, here's a cool name. Alabasi Johnson. Olabasi Johnson. Not a clue. Not a clue. Olabasi Johnson. It's a cool name, though. It's a cool name. Vikings. Matt Ryan from Boston College. Yeah, there you go. BC Eagle Deb. Boston College. Matt Ryan. So that's going to be Falcons. All right. David Montgomery. David Montgomery. Not sure David Montgomery, where he's going. Da Be Bears. That's right. Da Bears. All right, here's our autographed card, folks. Ready? Let's see who it's going to be. Albert. Ak Wugabunum. Albert Akwubugunum. I have no idea how to say that last name. That's a nice looking card. Broncos. Always the Broncos. Why is it always the Broncos whenever I don't know who it is? I'm just going to start guessing Broncos. Nice autograph, though. Albert Akwugabunum. Well done, Broncos. Looking nice. Nice looking card there. Paco, you say you're drawing dead. It's, it's possible. It's possible that, that that would happen. So here's our three autograph cards so far. Nice collection there. And uh, we got some other nice pulls here with a nice, some nice rookies. It does. I thought, I thought it looked like Ant myself, actually. I was thinking that it did look like Ant a little bit. I am going to pull the... Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end up putting the, those rookie cards that aren't that are just base i'm just going to put them into a, a different type of sleeve because these sleeves here are a little bit easier to get other cards in and i want to save them for the autograph cards so 
I will save some sleeves here. All right, three packs to go. Next pack. I'm gonna go through this one a little bit uh, quicker. So that way, I'll, like I said, I'll look up all the, these cards again later and I'll assort them into who has what team. So I'll organize them accordingly. Uh, this is a good card. There's a nice way to start off this pack. Check that out. That's Lamar Jackson's. Lamar Jackson right there. That's gonna be Baltimore Ravens. Bomberman John says Jets even sink in a card break. Sorry about that. Bomberman, or sorry, Lamar Jackson. So whoever has the uh, Ravens. Moose again. That's a nice card. Very good. Lamar Jackson. I have Cortland Sutton. Oops. Cortland Sutton. I forgot to put these cards back. Cortland Sutton. Bron Are you kidding me? Broncos. Always Broncos. Hunter Re Renfro. Hunter Renfro. It's a Hunter Renfro card. Don't tell me Broncos. Raiders. Okay, thanks. Travis Kelsey. He's playing for the Chiefs. That's a nice Travis Kelsey card there. He played for Cincinnati, huh? Nice. Travis Kelsey. Very nice card. You got Justice Hill. Justice Hill. Not sure who he's playing for. It's a cool name, though. Justice. Justice Hill. Ravens. Moose, you're, Moose, you're going to be getting a whole huge pack of cards. Chris Godwin. Chris Godwin. I want to say Steelers. Maybe I should say Broncos. But I want to say Steelers for some reason. No, no, no. Lions. Right? Okay. Tampa Bay. Chris Godwin. Tampa Bay. Uh, here is our uh, auto card. Devin Asiasi. Devin Asiasi. Paco says, I got one. Devin Asiasi. It's a nice looking card. Pats, huh? All right. Patriots. Looking good. Looking very good there, Patriots. We'll go ahead and put him into a protector. There you go, Devin. Two autos. Wow, congratulations. All right, we'll put him over with our other auto cards. All right, here we go. We'll work through these ones a little bit faster. Jeff Okuda. Jeff Okuda. Once again, not, uh, not sure about our dear friend Jeff Okuda. There's another Albert, so you can have your matching base card with your autograph card. Lions for Jeff Okuda. So there's a nice card for you. Oh, here's another one. You got Henry Ruggs III. Henry Ruggs III. Nice. And a Jerry Judy on the side, but again, we're going left player first. So that's Henry Ruggs III. Guess going Raiders there. We have Cam Akers. Cam Akers. I was thinking he was going to be like the kicker, but that's David Akers. Cam Akers, Rams. Here's another legacy card. So this one's going to be Russell Wilson, NC State University and University of Wisconsin. So Moose, you hit again. Nice legacy card there. Russell Wilson. It's a nice looking card there. We have DeAndre Hopkins, so he is still playing for the Tech. Ooh, is he playing for the Texans? He didn't. He didn't sign somewhere else, did he? He's Tech playing for the Texans, right? That's a Texans player. DeAndre Hopkins, Houston. Joey Bosa, nice card there. 49ers. Joey Bosa. DeAndre Hopkins playing for the Cardinals now, huh? He did sign somewhere else. I thought so. Interesting. All right. So we got Joey Bosa going to the Cardinals. I apologize. Or not Joey Bosa. DeAndre Hopkins going to the Cardinals. And Joey Bosa is going to 49ers. That's the right Bosa brother, right? Chargers. Sorry. Like I said, what can I say? I don't know the most of football. Barry Sanders. Unless he's still playing, 
He's going to the Lions. Nice card there, Barry Sanders card. Oklahoma State University. Nice job. Mason Rudolph. He's going to the Pittsburgh Steelers. Concussed and all. Good job, Mason. Daryl Henderson. Not a clue about our friend Darrell here. Darrell Henderson. Daryl Henderson. And then last but not least, Philip Rivers. So Daryl is going to the Rams. Philip Rivers still playing for the Chargers, I do believe. Although, did he get traded too? Right? Weren't they talking about trading him? He still plays for the Chargers, right? Philip Rivers went to NC State. Colts? What has happened in the offseason? Have I mi I've missed so much. I like I said I haven't, I don't really pay attention as much to uh, football as I used to. I can't eat the Colts. I thought Jacoby Brissett was doing a pretty good job. I'm surprised that they went after him. All right, whatever. Rivers left. Went to the Colts. A lot happened. All I know is that so far Aaron Rodgers is still on the uh, the Packers, even though they signed Jordan Love. So hopefully Jordan Love's the next big thing. All right, we have two packs left. Here we go. We're still hoping for that big rookie hit. So we should have two autographs. Only one number card. Kind of surprised about that. Normally you get... Well, we'll, we'll see what happens. Normally you get a pretty good amount of numbered cards when it comes to hobby packs like this. So we will wait and see. This pack's being a little bit stubborn. There we go. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do, what did I say, it was six. Let me go, one, two, three, four, five, six. And it's actually the seventh card, so we're gonna do that. All right, so our autograph card will be in the back. We got Justin Herbert, University of Oregon. Justin Sherbert Herbert. Uh. Hey, Ernie, you want to go get some ice cream? Huh, Sherbert. Chargers for Justin Herbert. Jerry Judy from the University of Alabama. Jerry Judy. Not sure where Jerry's going. Jerry Judy. Broncos, of course. We have uh, LaVisca Chenault Jr. from Colorado. University, I think that is. LaVisca Chenault Jr. Michael Pittman Jr. <laughs> Judge Judy is an NFL head coach now. Michael Pittman Jr. He was Broncos. Wasn't he Broncos? Didn't someone say he was Broncos? Or was he Lions? I don't know. Jags for LaVisca Chenault Jr. Michael Pittman Jr. Nice card there. Ooh, Colts for Pittman. Thank you. Charles Woodson. Nice Charles Woodson card there. And with a Tom Brady to match. But once again, we're sticking with the teams here on the left. So you got a Charles Woodson card. Is it going to be the Raiders, right? Is that the team he spent the longest with? It would be the Raiders. Charles Woodson. I think so. Raiders it would be. I'll double check that. I'm pretty sure that's going to the Raiders. I know he spent some time with other teams, but I'm thinking longest with the, with the Raiders. Delvin Hodges. Delvin Hodges. Is he... He's not Pittsburgh. Who is he play for? I know who he plays for, and once you guys say it, I'll know who it is. Delvin Hodges. Steelers. Yeah, it was Steelers. I thought, yeah. Saquon Barkley. Saquon Barkley, he's going to New York Giants. There you go, Giants finally got a hit on something. I don't know if the Jets have yet, but the Giants have. So there's Saquon Barkley from Nittany Lions. Jarrett Stidham. Jarrett Stidham. Someone stood him up. Not a clue about Jarrett Stidham. One of the other things I'll show you here is that on the back they have little fun facts sometimes as well on the back about the player themselves. So when you get your cards, take a, take a moment to read and enjoy that 
Pats for Jarrett Stidham. Oh, that's right. He's going to be the next big guy, isn't he? Although they did just sign Cam Newton. Amari Cooper. That's a nice card there. Now, does Amari Cooper still play for the Raiders, or did he go somewhere else? Cowboys? Oh, that's right. He's been on the Cowboys. What am I thinking? Cowboys. Mark Ingram the second. He's still playing for the Saints, right? Don't tell me that he left. Mark Ingram the second. Should be playing for the Saints, I hope. Dan Marino. Nice looking Dan Marino. The Ravens? Mark Ingram, the Ravens? Oh my goodness. I don't know anything anymore. Dan Marino. I know he's going to Dolphins. Dan Marino, retired, longest, going to Dolphins. We have a Christian McCaffrey. Christian McCaffrey card. Looking good there, Christian McCaffrey. Christian McCaffrey is going to go to the Panthers. Dan Marino, the famous Jets quarterback. That's right. No, that was Brett Favre. Christian McCaffrey going to the Panthers. Good card there. Miles Sanders. I like the name. Don't have a clue where he's going, but Miles Sanders from Penn State University. Nittany Lions. Miles Eagles. Ooh, there's a nice card. Deshaun Watson going to the Texans. Very cool, Deshaun Watson going to the Texans. Nice. Ryan Finley. He used to play for the Green Bay Packers. I don't know if he still does play for the Green Bay pa Packers. My name's Finley, and I love to fight. Ryan Finley from the Wolf Pack. Bengals, 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 Bengals. Oh, sorry, Ryan Finley. You have definitely been one-upped by Joe Burrow. James Washington. James Washington. James Washington Bridge. Thank you, James. Good to see you. Alexander Mattinson, Mattison, Steelers for James Washington. Alexander Mattison. Some of these teams haven't hit hardly at all, have they? Vikings. Good job, Vikings. I think that's Ted, Alexander Mattinson. Oh, I got so scared for a second. I saw, I saw Ohio State, and I thought it was going to be Chase. I thought it was going to be Chase, but it's not. Ooh, so close, guys. Damon Arnett from the Ohio State University. Damon Arnett Raiders. Nice looking auto there. At least his initials, you can say. Ooh, that had me a little, I was scared. I got scared for a second. Nice autograph card for the Raiders. Well done. I was thinking that was going to be held it like this, and I thought, Chase, it's Chase Young, <gasps> but it's not. Damon Arnett. All right, so, so far, here we go. We have, uh, here are our five autographs that we have so far. Five autographs, and we have one numbered card, which is this one here, this rainbow foil, number to 99. So we have one pack left to go. Here we go. One pack left, folks. Let's crack this bad boy open. Last pack. Let me put these up here. Last pack magic. It's always about that last pack magic. You just never know what's going to happen. And all the times I've pulled for myself hobby boxes from whether it's been baseball I don't I'm not really into the football cards as much but I'm baseball I collect more last pack magic has been pretty good to me so let's uh let's do some hoping for the best here everybody all right hey Carson Claus is here I'm gonna do the trick one two three four five six seven so I'm going to do the trick. I'm not looking. Last card should be our autograph card. If you guys let me know, you know, some of you who are here, if you guys like this and you guys let me know, um, you know, what kind of cards, like if it's baseball cards, let me know what you, what you want me to open. And if I can get it, I'll buy it and we'll break it for you and I'll send them out. So let me know. Chase Claypool, Steelers. I'm willing to break anything and everything. Pokemon cards, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, magic cards. 
whatever. Let's let's just have some fun and break some stuff. Cole Kmet, Da Bears, isn't he one of like the twelve tight ends that they have? Is that the position he plays, Cole Kmet? I think so. Yep. A current twenty twenty NFL hobby pack sounds good. Yeah, they'll be coming out pretty soon. Like the the once the season gets closer, there'll be some other hobby packs coming out. So. Um, I'll be on the lookout for that. You got C.D. Lamb. That's a nice card with a Jalen Hurts connection. So C.D. Lamb. Who's he playing for? Who did he get drafted by? C.D. Lamb. Cowboys. That's right. C.D. Lamb for the Cowboys. Oh, there's a Jalen Hurts card. Nice. It's going to the Eagles. Jalen Hurts. Draft 2020 class. Going to the Eagles. Looking good. And here we go again. Look at this. Oh, here's a nice card. Legacy card. Jerry Judy mixed with a Julio Jones card. That looks pretty good. Very nice. So Jerry Judy. That'll that'll be that one. Ah, look at this. Emmett Smith going to the Cowboys. Broncos again for Jerry Judy. Emmett Smith going to the Cowboys. Florida Gators. It was an aid to the Gator, so naturally we called the stuff Gator Aid. Cowboys, good job there. Ooh, Todd Gurley the second. Now don't he's for the Rams, right? Todd Gurley, Rams. Or did he get did they trade him? Someone help me here. Falcons. Falcons. That's got to be the craziest offseason in a long time, isn't it? The way these guys are getting moved around, and not like little no-name guys. Like These are big guys that are getting moved around. That's crazy. All right, Falcons it is. There you go. Josh Jacobs. Josh Jacobs. He's not, he's not Green Bay, is he? I mean, he sounds really familiar. Cowboys. That's right, Josh Jacobs. Raiders. Cowboys. Raiders. Who is he? Raiders, okay, Raiders. Josh Jacobs, Raiders, that's right. Calvin Ridley. He's Falcons, right? Calvin Ridley. Calvin Ridley. He still plays for the Falcons. At least I, I got one right, thank goodness. Matt Stafford. Okay, now if Matt Stafford does not play for Detroit the Detroit Lions, I'm just gonna I'm gonna stop right here. He's on the Lions still, right? Nothing happened there. He's still Lions. Still lying around there. Losing Detroit. Losing to Green Bay every single year. All right. Here we go. Stefan Diggs. Stefan Diggs. Does he play for the Vikings still? Does he play for the Vikings? Stefan? Our good friend Stefan. Bill? Oh, that's oh, that's right. That's a good pickup for the Bills. Forgot about that. Stefan Diggs. Buffalo. I think this is the first Buffalo card we've pulled this whole time. Bills, that's a nice card for, or that's nice for Buffalo Bills. That'll be a good addition for him. Michael Gallup. Michael Gallup. I want to say Cowboys. I want to say Cowboys, and I would be correct. Look at me go. The scary thing is that I know something about these packs. Like football players, like I have some knowledge. If I opened up Yu-Gi-Oh cards, or if I opened up uh, even a lot of Pokemon cards or Magic cards, I would know nothing. So, Paco, I'm so sorry. Derek Carr still on the Raiders. All right, he hasn't gone anywhere. Royce Freeman. Royce Freeman. You know the thing is, I I do like the look of these cards. Like, I know they're not in their NFL uniforms, but they are college, you know, draft pick cards. So that's like the theme. But I like I like the look of the cards. I think they're really nice. Broncos. Man, if you had the Broncos, you're on top. Jacoby Brissett. Did the Colts keep Jacoby Brissett or did they trade him away? The Colts. Okay, very good. Thank you. Aaron Jones. Now, this is the guy I know. Aaron Jones. He is going to be Green Bay Packers. Very nice. Aaron Jones. Right. He didn't go anywhere. I hope he didn't go anywhere. He's a great player. Aaron Jones for the Green Bay Packers. Kyler Murray. 
That's a nice card there, Kyler Murray. Kyler Murray. He's uh, Cardinals. All right, last card. This should be our autograph, folks. Tony Jones Jr. Tony Jones Jr. is our last auto. Man, we were not able to pull the big one. But there you go. Tony Jones Jr. Autographs in this box are great. I'm a little disappointed that we only got one numbered card. Normally you get you normally you do pretty well for some foil cards. So I'm a little disappointed in that. But hey, Tony Jones Jr. That's a nice card. So let's go through just our, our hits that we got. Again, everything ships, so even your um even your base cards are going to ship. I know there's some people that they do break and they don't uh, they don't do that. But uh, all cards will will ship from this box. So we got the Tony Jones Jr. going to the Saints apparently. We got the Demon Arnett going to the I forget apparently. We got the Rodney Smith also going to the I forget apparently. We've got Antonio Gandy Golden. This is probably my favorite card out of the autos. I I love Liberty University, and I just that's a small autograph, but it's a nice autograph and it's a nice looking card. So that's a good one there. We got Albert, who looks like it says Ant. Aquabunahama. Devin Asiasi. And Terry McLaren. Nice numbered card there. Nice and a rainbow foil too. So that's a nice hit. Very, very good. All right, so that wraps it up for that box. And uh, again, appreciate all of you that joined the break and uh, we took a chance on some of those cards. We also have, and I, these are the ones that I'm going to have to put into the, uh, the other pack. So we got these packs here, which are nice packs, but they're a little tight. So I didn't want to put your auto cards in there, but I can get these uh, rookie base cards in there carefully. So we did get some nice rookie base cards. This nice Joe Burrow and Justin Jefferson Collegiate Connections card. So that's a nice looking card right there. Another Joe Burrow base rookie. So these ones going out to the Bengals, which is Sarah Anglin. Very nice. Yeah, just a little tight, so I didn't want to put those autos in there. So Joe Burrow. And then that Chase Young for the Washington Redskins. He's a great player. I'm really excited to see what he does for Washington. It's a lot of fun to watch at Ohio State. That's my uh, Ohio State's like my go-to. I love Syracuse. Just because I'm, you know, since I live here now. But, uh, yeah, definitely Chase Young. I think that's going to be exciting. So, nice little packs there. But, cool. Good good work, everyone. Good stuff. That was fun. I really enjoyed that. And I really am looking forward to doing um, more of this. So, if you guys are interested, I would uh, love to do more. Sarah Anglin says, you can keep my Ben as a donation to the channel. Sarah, I would love to keep them, but I made a promise I was going to send them out. And I want to be true to my word. I'm going to send them out. I don't know. I don't care what you do with them, but uh, I, I want to send them. I want to make sure everyone gets their, their cards so people know that when I break things, that sounds weird. When I break things, that they'll get what they, they got. But I appreciate the thought, though. So there we go. Nice little thing. I would like a baseball break, too. I'll, I'll look into getting some of that. So I have, you know, I have uh, four more uh, boxes, or three, excuse me. I have three more boxes of the Panini contenders but I will make sure that these cards get to where they need to go in a timely fashion and so I will go through them and make sure that you get the player that was associated with your team 
So we'll keep these cards in there for now. And I'll just put a little little mark on it, a little label that lets me know that this was our box break one. Nice work. All right, so I will send those, like I said, I'll send those out. And let me just switch a couple things back over here. Bop, 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 bop. So those will get sent out uh, probably tomorrow. Oh, by the way, I will contact those of you that joined the break, but you need to send me your um, address so I can mail the cards out to you. So I need your address. If you received any of the cards in this break, you had a spot in the break. Uh, please send me your address. You can either email at the arcade couple, ba at gmail.com, or you can uh, message me on Twitter at arcade couple. Follow me. I'll follow you back and then just send me a direct message. Uh, but I'll need your addresses. So just give me your name, give me the address, and then uh, we'll contact you and we can send the cards out to you. So please make sure that you. Um, that you do that so there you have it that was that was fun i enjoyed that i thought that was a good time hopefully you guys enjoyed that as well all right i'm just going to up, up, up. just going to take a picture here of the list of teams so I don't lose that I would print it but I think I'm out of paper I should get more paper but I'll take a list so that's gonna be our box break number one so I will remember that box break number number one there we go box break number one and I'll remember that that is going to the cards that we have in that box right there. So, wonderful, wonderful job, everybody. Whew. Oh, yes. I will get into the AC. Um, some of you were asking about when the next uh, break is going to be. I have, like I said, I have three more of these boxes. So, I know some people were saying that they would prefer to... Uh, pick a team so let me know if that's something that you would want to do if you would rather pick a team now you have to understand that the teams wouldn't all be the same price right because for instance like the you know the the Bengals would be the highest priced team because you have the chance of getting one of the better cards so that would be higher price so that you're taking a chance on that so we can do like a tiered thing where you pick teams or you can do a uh, we could do a random like we just did uh, we can do less less spots we can do more spots so there's a lot of different ways that we can uh, that we can do it the Jets will always be free Rav1 wants the Jets to be free from now on Musa's snake snake draft for teams oh I see like you you get numbers one through whatever and then they get to pick what their first team would be. So if you had the first pick, you would probably pick the uh, the Bengals, I see. That's an interesting, I don't know. Moose, does, does anyone do it like that normally? I've, I've never seen anyone do it that way. That's pretty interesting to do it like that. A lot of you are saying to keep it random. That's the most common way you see. Huh, interesting. I don't think I've ever seen it done that way before. Because I would think that the chance would be if you're doing it on a stream, if the person's not there, they wouldn't be able to tell you what team that they were gonna pick. The other thing I was thinking, and this would be a little bit more of an expense, uh, a little bit more of an expensive option. You would have to have an even number of players as well through to do a snake draft. Well, it would be sixteen, right? You know, sixteen spots because that's how I did this, divisible by two. Yeah, they need to be present. The other thing that I was thinking about doing um, was just dividing it up into packs. So like. There would be six, so one box, there would be six spots, and you would get one pack from the box, and everything in that pack would be yours. 
was one of the other ways I was thinking about doing it. So you have six spots because there's six packs, and you would get every card in that pack. And uh, that means you would be guaranteed to get one autograph card because there's one autograph card per pack. Um, I was thinking about doing that uh, because maybe, but that'd be a little bit more expensive. I think for that, it would it would have to be like a $45 um, break. Yeah, it'd be like 45 bucks. So if you wanted to do where it was just one pack, you're guaranteed to get an auto card. That would be a $45 buy-in. Um, so there's a couple different ways to do it, but you know, I can, I can experience it and, uh, and, you know, t tweak a couple different things so we can play around with it. But I think I probably will do another one the similar to the way I did tonight. But let me ask you guys this question for those of you that just participated in the break. We did 16, there were 16 spots because we did, um, the two teams per spot. Would you rather do eight spots and instead of making it $15, do $30 a spot? So do eight spots, but each spot gives you four teams. Would that be something that you'd be more interested in? Because some of you probably didn't do very well when it came to that. Because some, I mean, some teams, we barely even pulled some cards from some teams. So we could do... Um, eight spots and do four teams, 30 bucks. Uh, maybe that would be a little bit more fair, I guess. Probably gives every, probably gives you a little bit of a better chance. But, yeah, you could always buy more spots. That's true. You could always buy more spots like we just did. But, like I said, I got three boxes left, so maybe I'll try it a little bit different. Maybe I'll do one box where you buy a pack. Maybe I'll do another box, uh, like the way Moose was saying, with like a snake draft. I'll have to think about that a little bit more, too. And then maybe I'll do a box with only eight spots for for 30. We could do it that way. So we will do that. I mean, I am open to if, you know, let's, if we do a box for eight spots, if there's eight of you that want to do it and we can do that, we can do this tonight if you want to. That's totally up to you guys, though, of whether or not you want to, if there's eight of you that are willing to break this box for 30, bo 30 bucks, and we'll do the same thing with the random teams. We can do that tonight if you wanted to. Um, totally up to you guys, because I, I think that's a good. I like I like the little less uh, and give you guys more of a chance. So if that's something you want to do, let me know. But if we have eight of you, we can do it tonight. If not, we can you know until we fill it, we'll do it. But you guys did such a great job filling this break. I'm so I'm so happy that you joined us and that you came to do this. Um, that was a lot of fun. I just had a lot of fun opening the cards. And again, these hobby boxes are usually a lot better when it comes to what you could get in there than what you get from a normal um, like blaster box like like I did. So I'll show you this here. Oh, there we go. So like this is a blaster box. You can get these, well, I don't know if you can anymore. You could get these at uh, Walmart. And these are actually nice because it comes with two two autographs. You are guaranteed to get two autographs uh, with these ones. And these boxes are 20 bucks a piece, but people have been buying them like crazy from Walmart and then trying to resell them on uh, like eBay and whatever. So, yeah, but still fun, still fun. All right, well, you know what? We won't worry about doing anything tonight. We'll uh, let you guys recover from what that experience. I'll ship these cards out to you. And uh, 90 Day Fiance, Big Ed, he's the man. But uh, we'll plan on doing another break. Uh, I'll put some more information out on Twitter and get one started for eight spots. And I'll put another one out. And as soon as we uh, fill it, we'll do another live stream like this and break it. But let me know if you guys are still here. Uh, let me know that if you had... Um, if there's other, what else you'd be interested in opening. So if you are interested in opening up, um, you know, like I said, if it's baseball cards or if it's, uh, you know, Pokemon cards or whatever, let me know the kind, like what sort of, because I know Pokemon has like a bajillion different things. Um, 
and we can I can try to buy some of those packs and open some of that stuff up. Rav one, I would totally buy basketball and we could do basketball, but I can't find basketball anywhere and online it's super expensive. Hockey I could probably do because I hockey packs I can find at the store or I can find online. Um, but some of these basketball prices with the Zion Williamson, let me tell you, crazy. Garbage Pail Kids cards. Moose, I'll buy a pack just for you. Just for you. It's crazy. Thanks, BC Deb, for stopping in. Resurgo627, thanks so much. Everyone who is in the break, don't forget to send your uh, your address to me, and I'll reach out to you and message you as well. Just want to make sure I get your address so we can uh, get those. A pack of Batman cards sealed. Wow, that's exciting. Very fun. Very fun. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from 1991 as well. Nice. Well, uh, we will. I actually have a couple of things that I'm going to uh, unbox for just some regular videos, like personally, coming up. So you can be on the lookout for that because it's going to be very, very interesting, different. I don't see many videos on YouTube of people breaking the kind of stuff that I'm going to break. Um, but that's just going to be personal. So no spots available, but I'll reveal all that once we get there. But I hope you guys had fun. And again, thank you so much uh, for doing this. Bomberman Johns has put me down for two spots for the next break, for the eight spot break. That'll be the next one that we do, is the eight spot break. Uh, so Bomberman John, if you want to do that, that's 30 bucks for a spot, so that's 60 bucks. So you can just message me uh, or send it. You're, you're doing, I think, Venmo, so you can take care of it there. But I'll mark you down. I'll put you down for that. So I hope you guys had fun. And I hope you guys are all doing well. And I know I know this is something different, but as some of you have said, way to kind of kill the time, pass the time. And uh, we will be going back and forth and getting other one. Rav1 wants to buy. Yes, you can do that as well. Send me, uh, just give me the PayPal. I'll mark this down. So yeah, you can, you can do that. I'll message you. John, we can take care of that. Bomberman John. Um... And Rav1, yeah, sounds good to me. We'll totally do that. So there we go. We're already halfway, right? Halfway there, yeah. We only have four, four spots left for the next break. Um, so this was fun, and thanks for joining. Hopefully, again, this takes your mind off some of the things that are going on to something different to keep you entertained for a while. But uh, I'll send these cards out. I'll get them packed up and send them out tomorrow or the next day. It just depends on how long it takes me to sort them and send them. And thanks for joining. Congratulations, those of you who got uh, your your packs there. Got a lot of cards. I think Moose Tube made out like a bandit. So well done. Don't mind my my whack writing. Hayden David's in for one spot. Rav one was in for two. Moose says, "I did I, I did I." And yeah, the, Bron the Broncos did very well. You're right. Bomberman John is in for two. So when uh, if all you guys pay, that brings us down to uh, three spots left. So Ryan Oliver's in for one. There you go. All right, so we're down to two spots left. So that'll be that'll be good. But we can we can wait to break. We can wait to do it because I know whoever has to go watch 90 Day Fiance with their wife or their 90 day fiance so i don't want to take that away from you so we can wait till tomorrow if we get this other spot filled but anyways guys rat thank yeah rav one that was him sorry have fun doing that it's important to keep the wife happy um <laughs> moose good news got a lot of bronco cards bad news they're broncos cards she won't let me have a fiance yet you know that's probably a good thing if it's your wife it's probably a good thing that she won't let you have a fiance Unless you're just dating, and then she's just playing hard to get, but who knows. All right, guys. Thanks for joining, and we will see you in the next one. We're still, this is just something else. There'll still be arcade videos once we can get out and do all that, so you can look, be on the lookout for that. But hopefully you guys had fun, and uh, yeah, we will see you in the next one. Thank you. Don't forget to send your address to me so I can send those cards out. And uh, thanks for those who participated. Thanks for those who came to watch. Don't forget those custom emojis. It's important to keep your wife happy over and over again. You're welcome, Hayden, David. Don't forget to keep your wife happy. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.